And now at 3.30, her own life is now a heartbreaking hot topic. The fall of talk show queen Wendy Williams is the subject of a new Lifetime docuseries. Even the crew, though, had to turn the cameras off at one point. It is called Where is Wendy Williams? And after watching, many are wondering what is next for Williams as she struggles with dementia and alcoholism. KTLA 5 Samantha Cortese joining us here in the studio with more on the story. Sam? Glenn and Lou, the documentary is uncomfortable to watch. Some are calling it blatant exploitation. And today, producers are defending the series, saying they hope it highlights guardianships and the importance of family intervention. What I thought was going to be a comeback kid story seems to be like a demise of Wendy's story. Wendy Williams' best friend is one of many people expressing concern for the 59-year-old talk show host following the release of a new four-part Lifetime documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? Once we started filming, it really went into a very different direction, and we did not know at all that she had um, dementia. Lifetime executives say Williams was diagnosed with dementia and aphasia after the crew had started filming, but before the show aired. I still see glimpses of my mom very often. Like They interviewed Williams' son, brother, and others who are worried for the larger-than-life personality who has been treated for alcoholism and bizarre cognitive episodes. <laughs> In May of 2022, Williams was placed under a financial guardianship in New York, but was often alone. I was so concerned she would fall down those stairs and for numerous different reasons, whether it's the lymphedema or the or the alcohol. Um, and I think we realized that we were shedding a light on the reality of what it was like for her to live in this period of time in her life where she was under a guardianship. It's no secret that there have been random people around you getting money, getting paid, whatever the case may be. Stealing money from me. Speaking with News Nation, Williams' best friend, Regina Shell, said the documentary confirms her suspicions. I would have to send her food from Los Angeles to New York for through delivery service because she wasn't get the communication wasn't there and she had no other access to money than this guardian. And so that's what was concerning to me because she was telling me she didn't have food. Producers stopped filming saying Wendy needed to be in treatment and today Wendy Williams is not alone in New York. She is at a facility to treat cognitive issues where her sisters say she is doing really great in the studio. Samantha Cortese back to you.